Sorry about that, streaming fans. <laughs> I had to take a call from a client. You know how these things go. Uh, all right, let's go back to talking about Civ V. <laughs> um, this guy's chilling out. Okay, fine. This guy can't shoot anybody because his damn jungle's in the way. Okay, fine. We are two turns out from this. Is there any way I can speed that along? To one turn. Still two turns. Can I... Yes. All right. It's worth taking this minus three food for one round in order to get the Forbidden Pals in one turn, especially since I have a hunch that somebody else might be working on it because there's a bunch of people in patronage. So since I'm not going to starve down to ten pop because I have an aqueduct and other things, totally worth doing that for a round. I just got to remember to switch them back so they don't keep starving. Let's see. Okay, you still want to give me open borders and gold for salt. That's fine. I want to keep your open borders because I want to keep sending my tourism. I want my tourism going your way. I got the Forbidden Palace. Applause. This is really nice. This will give me two additional delegates in the World Congress, which is the big reason I wanted it, as well as the minus 10% unhappiness from citizens in non-occupied cities, which gives me a happiness boost that I needed. Not a huge one, granted, but it's a, it's a happiness boost. Um, we got a missionary purchased, which is good. We can use that to keep spreading our religion because, yeah, the pressure's starting to come back and that's starting to piss me off. Um, we'll move you down here deal with that in a second. All right, let's go ahead and start the pew, pew, pew. And kill that guy. Good, I killed that guy. Very good. Okay, that's one down. Bunch of jerks. Um... Let's keep scouting around with our great admiral. We've got, he's pushing in with his units, but I've got a decent amount here. And they might wreck up the place a little bit, but it's okay. I should be able to hold them off. Um, you are starving and you need to build stuff. All right, so we're going to reset tiles to food focus. Um, and then take a, take a gander at what we got because I want this city to grow. We definitely want to put you here, because that's going to be a pretty hefty production tile. Uh, you don't have a lot of production right now, but you are working most of the good food tiles, and you're going to grow pretty well, so we're going to put you back on production focus. Um, actually, I want to put you here, because I want the gold, and then it'll grow onto that, and so on. Now, a coffee house would be really nice, but I don't really have... I can build circus mag. Ah, I got a lot of things to build. Holy crap. I'd like a lot of that stuff. Hello! How are you, Prodged? Um, welcome to the stream. So, I, you know, let's grab a knight. Having something mobile will be useful. And then we're going to add to the queue. Let's start at an observatory would be good. A zoo might be good. I actually really want a fusee. Um, so we need to start working on that. Globe Theater would also be really nice. Um, but that's going to take too long to build, so we got to start working on that. Now hopefully my goal... Also, you, the coffee house gives me a production boost. A pretty substantial production boost. Um, well not that substantial actually. So we can hold off on that, maybe try and buy it. Ah, excellent! <clears throat> I've played a few of the Civ 5 multiplayers, I tend to find that like... I like the single player just because, well, they're, they're very different. It's very different. It's kind of interesting. Um, the times I've played multiplayer haven't been competitive either, so it's kind of like a lot of me waiting for other people to finish their turns, <laughs> which is um, always exciting. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so you're going to have your Gatling gun done in two turns. You're going to have your Gatling gun done in four turns. You're going to have a Galeus done in three turns. And hopefully I can come over and help out Prague, who is getting the snot kicked out of it. Oh, Prague. Prague, Prague, Prague. You're having problems, bro. Um, fingers crossed I'll be able to do something about that. Missionary was purchased. Wittenberg wants a trade route. Good for Wittenberg. They want money. I don't have any money because all my freaking trade routes were destroyed. Ah, I like it. That would be fun too, I think. Dual teams. It sounds like something that would be pretty entertaining. I've never really tried that out. Um, yes, you need a workboat. You need a lot of things, but I could. Do we need another Gatling gun? Probably not. Let's get another work. Let's get that. Let's actually get a cargo ship to try to get some more gold influx ASAP. Next turn. 
Situation is, I'd been at peace with pretty much everybody for most of the game, and then all of a sudden, Germany and the Mayans, my two neighbors. So here, you know, is Germany, and here's the Mayans. Mayans don't like me because they have a religion, and I have a religion, and the Mayans are jerks like that. The Germans don't like me because they're the Germans, and I'm an easy target. I don't know. They're jerks. So they both decided to team up and declare war on me, like jerks. Um, and now I am farming them for experience, basically. Um, bunch of assholes. Let's go ahead and take that guy out and deal a bunch. Take that guy out. I don't even have castles or walls in here. Yeah, I imagine it's definitely a, uh, a very distinct style of gameplay, but it sounds like it would be fun. Um, for show, for show. Let's actually, after this Galeus is done, let's get walls to just just because we can. Might be useful. Um in the long run. I'm going to get a couple Galeuses out because my hope is if I can get them out reasonably fast I can come over here and help and maybe try to defend Prague. Although I don't think... Well, thankfully he doesn't look like he's got any melee units over here so with any luck I'll be able to get a ship over and help blow up some of these guys soon. Ha! That's not a bad idea. You can find me on Steam as well. Anybody that wants uh, to find me on the Steam, it's Captain Jandor just like my Twitch name. Um... Just let me know. Oh my god. See, if he had melee guys here, Prague would be in real pro in real trouble. Thankfully he doesn't. Um, thankfully he doesn't. Here's a Gatling gun! Come to save the day. Alright, bring him on down. Uh, you're gonna keep farming. <laughs> um, and that's right, in the middle of a war, I'm gonna go ahead and start spreading my religion. Because... Fuck these bitches. Uh, let's see. Let's blow you up. Let's blow you up. At least get some damage dealt. Let's go ahead and start plinking away at that guy. Get the experience going. Bismarck hit the industrial era. Oh, that sucks, actually. Uh, Prague grant me, granted me coal. Oh, well, thank you, Prague. Um, that's actually good. I need to start building factories. Like, badly. Oh, it's going to take forever to build these factories. Sons of bitches. But I need to build them. Need to build them. Get these factories going. I might have to get that before a Fuzzy. Is anybody else in aesthetics? Yes, she is. Of fucking course. So, nobody else is in aesthetics besides Elizabeth. Which means she's probably going to be trying to compete with me for a Fuzzy. Which is frustrating. She doesn't have a lot, though. She doesn't have a lot of production. So I might still be able to get it. I really need to get my, um... My production up. Such that I can build some of these things ASAP. This war really kind of slowed me down in a lot of respects. But once I get a couple of these units out, I should have enough to sort of defend. And maybe even take a city if I feel like it. I don't really care about taking cities. I'm not trying to do that. Because it also just gives you all that warmonger pe penalty bullshit. Pakal got the globe. Although maybe I will go take some of Pakal's crap because he's starting to build religion. He's building a. He is building stuff for me. My city became religious. What? Ah, oh, jerks. You've got to go ahead and do this. Um. Trying to maintain this religion has been a giant pain in the ass too. On top of everything else. So you have sold demonism. So it's got the pressure there, pressure there, okay, good. So, um, alright, go ahead and continue to pew pew and blow that guy up. Hey, ship, let's go ahead and start attacking you with my ship. Hey, cargo ship, um, we gotta change you over to Neutronia, um, such that we can deal with this-ish. They want culture. You complete the Globe Theater. Yeah, Great Library, Anchor Watt, Hagia Sophia, Notre Dame, Great Mosque, Terracot Army, Globe Theater, and Borobador. Maybe we'll take him out. What did Bismarck build? He doesn't have anything. I don't give a shit about him. Uh, yeah, you know? You know? Aw. I think... It might be worth coming into Pelink. 
if I can get over here, but I'm going to have to blow up his stuff first. Um, and then I might try and push down and deal with him because he has just been ticking me off this whole game. Take some of his cities. Get some major warmonger penalties for doing that, though. Might not be worth it. Prague. Ugh, I need to go deal with that. Okay, so World Congress welcomes city-states. We've hit the next era because a bunch of people have finally caught up in tech. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go ahead and get you up there to get ready to do that. Let's go ahead and bring you over here. Oh, you're just going to get pounded by this by Munich. That's frustrating. I was really hoping to be able to come over and take that guy out. Oh, Jesus. Everything's just like slightly too delayed. Let's move you one and pew and attack and can't hit anybody. We'll go ahead and blow this guy up and you can stay right where you are for now. You, we can establish a trade route to Wittenberg. Get that sweet gold. Get that sweet, sweet gold. Um, let's bring you right here. Come on, attack me. Bunch of way do I have? Why is there a worker all the way over here? I don't under. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was all about, but there you go. Let's go ahead and bring one down here. You are going to go back the other direction. You've got this going the other direction. You, wow, somebody just, wow, nuked the crap out of Berlin. That's actually great for me. Yeah, he hasn't been able to spread Catholicism, so they're going to kind of weaken that up. Um, the pressure is coming around. Where you're rigging the election, Yerevan, I'm still doing counterintelligence, which isn't doing much for me. Biblos is still at war with me. Who else would be good? I still haven't figured out what's up here. I know there are more city-states. It might be good to have. Vatican City might be nice. Allied with them. They want my... Yeah, they want my religion. Sign delegates. Oh, choose the host. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and give me Austria. I have nine, I have ten delegates, friends. Yeah, that's awesome. 4v1. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's crazy. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, Commit. Yeah, I'm up to ten delegates. Germany still has five somehow, because I guess of all the city-states. The jerks. Um, but I got the Forbidden Palace and city-states, and I'm the host, so fuck you, Germany. Um, okay, Pakal entered the industrial era. All right, Prague. Moment of truth. Can you blow this guy out? Are you smart enough to do that? No, you are not. You are, in fact, not smart enough to do that. Good fucking job, Prague. Ugh, oh, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, that ass hat. All right, well, it just means now I have a city I can go take, and when I take it, uh, they will be my friends for life. What a... I can't believe that shit. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna blow you up. All right, well, so it goes. Sometimes you don't have enough, you can't get over there fast enough. I, I really shouldn't, that really shouldn't have happened. Like, if they, had pri if they had both fired the city and the crossbowman on that pikeman, chances are he would have uh, survived, unless he had a promotion, like a full heal promotion or something sitting in the wings. Um, <laughs> and then they didn't have any other melee units that I could see, but... Ugh. I lost a bunch of culture per turn from that, too. God, what a tool bag. All right. Well, Wittenberg wanted a trade route. Good for Wittenberg. You have adopted... Yeah. It will. It just seems to refuse to uh, pick a religion, which is frustrating. Um, but whatever, it happens. It happens. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. And kablamo. And we're going to move you up. And we're going to go ahead and heal you up. And you finished, so I've still got my coal. Go ahead and put a mine there. We're going to put a mine there. Um, I am still... Everybody voted for themselves, right? Yep, as usual. Everybody voted for themselves, so the person with the most votes wins. Um, I think... Since I still don't have a ideology, we're going to keep moving up aesthetics. 
and then we're going to have to try and come over and take Prague back, and that's going to be tough. I might have to take Munich out on the way. Maybe I'll take Berlin and then head down, leave Munich. I don't know. I'd like to get Prague back, but that might be pretty tough order of business, considering I'd have to build a decent navy for that, and this city doesn't have a lot of production. Ah, that's really frustrating. So I, I'm trying to avoid taking a bunch of these cities, because I don't want the warmonger penalties or the happiness problems, which are not insubstantial. Um, well, let's get this guy over here to keep an eye on things, because he's probably going to start sending guys west towards me now that he's finished. Denounce Germany. Good. He's trying to keep people at war with each other instead of at war with me, but they didn't really, they weren't really accepting my bribes. These things happen. Cargo ship. Let's go to Cape Town. Okay, Gatling Gunnerino. Let's go ahead and attack that guy. Attack that guy. Um, you can blow up, start blowing up that guy. You're going to keep healing. You're going to stay actually right where you are. All right. And um, there we go. You keep adopting religions, but they're not the right religion, friend. Brussels. Nearly no longer an ally with Brussels. That's actually a big problem. I have the lead, but it's 21 turns. I'm not going to be creating a great musician because I haven't been able to build the damn guild yet, so... Ugh. Wittenberg completed... Actually, let's go ahead and do that then. You can move to Brussels. Um, Cape Town... Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's good. If I pledge to protect you, let's go ahead and do that. That might stave it off a little bit. A little bit. Um, Cape Town and Maze. Where is Cape Town? Okay, good. Well, I just keep them as allies then. What do I have? I have like a million... Yeah, 165. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, unit needs orders. Alright. Uh, you're going to go ahead and fortify up. You're going to go ahead and go on alert. Next turn, Reno. Uh, she wants open borders. I don't really... No, I would like open borders with you, but I don't want to give you a... Lost to declare... Okay, hold on a second. Some shenanigans just happened again. Uh, scientific theory came in. I got a great artist. Alright, let's see what just happened. So... Lhasa declared war on Pakal. Aha! It's because I just became allied with Pica with Lhasa. Very good. So he declared war. He declared war. Um, I am now to Yerevan. I am rigging the election. I have no chance of a coup with Yerevan. Missionary was purchased. We can bring you down here to try to fully convert that, and then maybe move it towards Berlin. Keep the pressure going. <laughs> Actually, I might just move it into Munich and get more citizens for more pressure. Um, that was taken care of. You've gained experience. We're going to go ahead and give you bombardment since there's not a lot of naval stuff happening. But let's move you back in here to heal for the time being. Let's come down and take a look at what's going on there. We've got our great artist, Sistine Chapel. Yes, please. Actually, speaking of which, uh, Gauguin. Very nice. Um, you go. Let's take a gander at my culture game. So Sistine Chapel wants art from the same era and same civilization. Industrial, industrial, boom. Theming bonuses. They're real good. Uh, you really want to maximize those. It's pretty important. You've adopted a religion. You keep going back and forth on this religion because uh, it's really close. <laughs> All right. I'm generating a decent amount of faith per turn, which is nice. That'll be helpful. Um, okay. Well, we've just got the scientific theory. Scientific theory is good. Electricity would be good. And then let's go to dynamite, maybe. Get some artillery and stomp around. Throw our weight around a little bit. Uh, no, we need to focus. Let's go to archaeology next. Go to archaeology next. Chemistry might not be bad. Get there pretty fast. Let's go electricity to chemistry to archaeology to fertilizer. And then see where we're at. Something along those lines, I think. Now, I don't really want to bring you too much closer. Because you'll just get 
attacked by the city, so we're just going to go ahead and fortify you. I'm going to put you on alert. There we go. There's somebody. Put you on alert again. <coughs> uh, this knight, we can run right here. Keep an eye on things. Um, El Missionaru. Gonna go ahead and that's next turn. Alright, so we've got one turn to that workboat, two turns to that coffee house. Coffee houses are pretty sweet. Sorry this has caused a divide between us. Sorry that you suck at everything and that I took your city state from you. No longer ally of Lhasa. Ally with nobody. Want Machu Picchu. It's because they're hostile and I just got to 60. Well, I can't do much with that. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Uh, but it happens. Okay. Barrage. Yeah, we're going to go barrage too. Uh, attack. Attack. Um, let's see. Kind of keep exploring around with this guy. F clearing up the fog. Let's go ahead and build that. We can go ahead and keep uh, farming. This guy, we can just go on to heal. This guy, we're going to put... We're just going to pause with. I don't really want to deal with that too much. Let's go ahead and move you over here. And then take that guy out. Sweet. All right, because that was my scout. I was like, wait, why was I still able to attack? It's my scout. That's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you here. Spread the religion. There we go. Seven followers with 27 pressure. That's what I'm talking about. Then we're going to go ahead and bring it over here. Oh, there's more pressure there already. Very good. 36 pressure. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Get that pressure going. I need to bring this over to Bucharest if I can get him over here. Actually, the pressure's really good there. Um, that might be worth spreading if I can get the spread over to Bucharest. Um, major Warponger penalty if you capture I love it. I love it. They declare war on me. Fucking backstab me. If I start taking their city, suddenly I'm the jerk. Uh. <coughs> Happens. Fuck. They want Taj Mahal, a great musician, and culture. I currently have the lead, though. That's nice. Huh. Cape Town had coal, too. That's good. Welcome to the stream. Um, coffee house up in one. God, these factories are taking forever to build. Should speed up, though, once I start getting um, more of these mines picked up. Like